hey guys uh, welcome back to my channel um, yeah thank you so much for tuning in so today we are going to be discussing an interesting topic well for me it's quite interesting uh, we are going to be discussing the misconceptions around gift registries yes I said it guys and um, it's time we discuss this and yeah I realized that people have different opinions on this but guys there's no need to get fired up I I'm going to explain it I'm going to break it down for you and so you understand um, what gift registries are for and um, whether it's good to have one and so on so please stay tuned guys and I'll be happy to continue the discussion in the comments section if you are happy with it and just so you guys can let me know um, what you think about this topic and if you've ever had a gift registry before if you are planning on having one and so on so guys let's get into the video so first things first I would like to explain what a gift registry is so a gift registry is more like a wish list so the person of the day whether you're getting married you have a birthday party you have um, a baby shower and a housewarming party and so on so you kind of um, create a wish list of the things that you need and this list is for people that need it so you're creating this list for people who would like to use it the wish list is kind of a list of items that you need that you don't have maybe in your house or in your nursery etc so for example um you just bought a new house and your new house is fully finished and you just need you know a few details there and then and then because you were planning to buy those things you decide you know what um since some of my friends um i know they usually ask me what do i need and some family members want to buy what you need and not just you know a waste of money so what you do is obviously you kind of um you know when you buy online you have like take a lot for example you have like a wish list of things that you put into the wish list and hope to buy in future so you kind of like create this list from any available store I think um, today there are quite a few stores that can help you create this gift registry yeah, right so it's basically just a list of things that you need a list of things that you want a list of things that you don't have so um before your event um, you'll send this gift registry out or you'll send a link if the gift registry is online so we do understand what a gift registry is right and so some people send it with the invite say you have a wedding coming up you'll send an invite as well as the gift registry uh, somewhere in the invite maybe on at the bottom of the invite or just um uh, anywhere on the invite uh, for people to see and this is for people who are interested in a gift registry we got that part right so it's for people who are interested in buying um, from a gift registry when it comes to gift registry it's sort of like a target market kind of thing you are not forced to buy from a gift registry okay you are not even forced to buy a gift for an event but it would be nice to do it so yeah a gift registry is a target market kind of um, situation so um, there are people who prefer gift registries there are people who want to buy what you need there are people who want to buy what you love there are people who get offended by you selling a gift that you don't need for example um this is my opinion right so when i look at my situation right now the quickest thing i can think about is um you know the baby cot the sleeping cot for babies um i don't need a cot right now i have two cots in my house né? so then imagine then now someone comes and buys me a baby cot um firstly space where will I put the cot in my house right secondly I don't need a cot like not in a bad way I already have a cot I don't need a baby cot right and then thirdly now that I don't have space and I don't need the cot I already have it right so now will will you be happy if I sell your gift if I sell the cot for something that I actually need for something that I have space for in the house so think about this guys think about this clearly because before you get fired up before you start being judgmental and all those things so like I said in the beginning you aren't forced at all to buy from the gift registry there's a target market for gift registries 
so for someone who's planning to have a gift registry guys i just want to assure you that it isn't rude to have a gift registry it's not rude at all um don't ever feel bad for making up a gift registry especially if you know the type of friends you have or the type of family members you have some family members don't mind others will just gossip on the side it's their part it's their cup of tea that is fine but your target market will know what to do they know you right and remember that um, gift registries have different prices as well so you can kind of pick according to your budget as well also if I have a gift registry say at Woolies Woolworths or any other store and I for example list a, a cushion for example it doesn't mean that if you buy me a cushion from another store maybe at home store it doesn't mean that I'll throw away the cushion I don't specifically want a Hoolis cushion what I need is a cushion from anyway so you kind of understand where I'm coming from so just don't get fired up about things like this it's a target market kind of Thing. So the reason why I would buy from someone's gift registry is because I really want to buy something that they need, you know. I don't want my gift to be sold uh, for something that they need or exchanged and so on. So for me, I think um, I would buy from someone's gift registry, obviously according to my budget and like I know for sure that the list contains everything that they love and need. So guys, yeah, I think I'm just um, trying to come your emotions down and um, people have different opinions about this and another thing that i realized is that the very same people who have different opinions about gift registries opinions like they are rude um they're not necessary and so on it's when they start to get married when they start to have baby showers and so on they have a gift registry for themselves because now they kind of understand the need you know what i mean so sometimes um, people have opinions because they don't know because they're not in that situation but down the line down the years um uh, most people now have gift registries even though the years back they did have different opinions about um, gift registries as a whole um, basically so guys um yeah um that's my opinion around gift registries and i'm so interested to know what you guys think and if you would buy from a gift registry if you would create one if you think it's necessary and so on so let me know guys in the comments section below thank you so much guys for listening and um, i hope you enjoyed today's video i hope you understand that this is my opinion and you also have um your opinion it might be different but we might be different might not be on the same page but yeah i'm interested to know what you think let me know in the comments section and guys please kind of subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next video